Hi everyone and welcome to this new series here on my channel. In these videos I will show you how to make a Spotify ready song only with free VSTs. With only free VSTs you can make a song sound like this. Okay, now regardless if you like the genre or not, what I want you to take from this series is the fact that you can get your song to sound just as good or even better by using only free plugins. Very important, every plugin that was used from mastering and mixing plugins to guitar amp simulators and virtual instruments, even drums are free, okay? Now, I will be showing you this in Reaper, because it's my favorite DAW of choice, but the DAW is completely irrelevant. It, it won't influence your sound, and from my knowledge, every DAW comes with a suit of standard mixing plugins. If it doesn't, you can search for free plugins on the internet, and you will definitely find something to work with. I will start this series with uh, what it's probably the most common issue for everybody, the drum kit. There is nothing wrong with wanting your drums to sound as good as possible. The best possible way to achieve that is to have a good drummer that is going to record in some good studio, right? But if you are tight on the budget, you will probably move to the next best thing, which is a good VST drum kit. But if that is as well something that your budget can't cover, what options do you have that can still sound good? In this song, I have used the empty power drum kit too. Now, the only elements that do sound a bit bad, I'll be honest with you, are the cymbals. I couldn't notice a big difference comparing the other elements, like kick, snare and so on, with the other drum kit samples but the cymbals do sound indeed a bit dull. But in this song there are multiple instruments. So it doesn't really matter if by itself the drum kit sounds poorly, if the whole ensemble sounds gorgeous. So this is what I want you to take notice. If your genre is something that relies on the drum kit of course, but, but the cymbals are not so upfront you can definitely use this drum kit. If your genre is more in the jazz direction, where you have accents on the cymbals and so on, it may be that this is not the sound that you are looking for. Okay, so the drum kit sounds like this. So the drum kit by itself looks pretty decent, so in my opinion, if you're on a budget, um, it's more than enough. Let's see how each of these things sound. So, not bad, right? 
I mean, it's not the most impressive sound, but it still sounds decent. So the plugin even offers a great deal of grooves. It also has the possibility of MIDI mapping. So if you want to use this option, that's definitely here. What about if you want to tune up the sound a little bit, make it to sound right for you? So let's actually move to the mix itself. Okay. We don't need it. Okay. I've exported separately pretty much uh, each element, like the kick, the snare, the toms, that the symbols are pretty split between um, left crash, right crash, and the right in the china. I mean the right with the bell and the china some somehow together in one track because if you look at the mixer in the MT Power Drum Kit 2 plugin you only have the possibility of selecting up to 8 outs here in the mix I've actually balanced all the tracks let's see how this drum kit sounds um, by itself but with a few free plugins So let's just compare this to this. The drum kit sounds a bit more alive by itself, but the trick is, like, th this is already part of the mix. So we already have some, some volume changes in the mix and it's also a lot more clean because it needs to be part of the, um, of the whole ensemble. You can notice, for example, that you can add a bit of punch to the kick track. And the snare sounds a bit more, let's say, at bay. Let's see how the entire mix sounds again. If you're still not convinced that this sounds some way okay, then I will also play to you the, uh, the master version of the song. Because what you are really after in the end is to get a good quality song that you can play on, let's say, uh, Spotify, iTunes or 
whatever you want to put your music to. Is this perfect? No! Can it sound better? Definitely yes. Am I limited by what the plugins can do? Well, yes and no. Usually, if you are a professional, you do have the budget for some good studio plugin at least. And if you are not, chances are that the sample quality is not your issue, but your skill set. You can still get a bounce sounding drum kit even with good VSTs if you do not know what you are doing. And you can get amazing sound out of free VSTs if you know your bread and butter. Just a very short review of what plugins I have used. I've only used Reaper standard plugins. In my next videos I will get into the other VSTs plugins as well. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content, like, comment and subscribe. Th thanks for watching, until next time.